as the baby gets bigger, it's pressing down on what do you call that? What's that thing in your belly? In your body? It press against your organs. Um, your yeah. I know that thing. <laughs> we all have it. Well, your yeah. your bladder. Yeah. Your bladder. Oh, oh my God. Oh, what are you here for? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Life with Lish. I am Lishelle. And I'm Romain. And today we're having a special guest, Romain, here on my channel. We do have a couple stage, but it's kind of on pause. Maybe it will change to a family page. Yeah. Seeing that our baby is coming. I don't know. Maybe, maybe are we going to put our baby on YouTube? I don't know. We'll see where life takes us. Alright, so today we're not doing a vlog. Today we're doing a little sit down. Um, to just have a little chat, things we're gonna be discussing what have we learned, you know, um, during this pregnancy, and I guess the other question was what things I wish I knew before getting pregnant. I have some notes that I'm looking down, Romaine probably having notes in their head, I don't know, but I have a couple of things right down. I'm a book, no cheating. So, we're going to jump right into the video. Guys, if you hear something in the background, people at home watching church. Well, Romain's grandfather is watching church, so I'm sorry for that um, if you're hearing that. Um, oh, so what, we needed, what I wanted to mention is that we're actually husband and wife. We're not just husband and wives. We're married. <laughs> We're married. We've been married for what, Romaine? How long have we been married for? We've been married for um, five years. Oh, what did you forget? You know, I forgot to the nitty gritty dates and time and hours and minutes. So, five years, um, yeah, December, it will be six. Right. And today, I am 27 weeks and four days. That's three years. 27 weeks and four days. The man is almost here. Yes, and we're having a boy baby if you didn't know. Alright. Hence the blue. Oh, that wasn't that was a plan. <laughs> I never realized. I was just looking for something comfortable to do the video. Ah, we're going to be boy parents. <laughs> I never realized that. That was a good catch. You you actually wear the blue for that? Yes. I didn't. I was just looking for something comfortable to do this video. All right, okay, the man is planning and the woman is just trying to look comfort. Anyway, so we're going to jump right into the video. Should I start? Yes, Because yes, <laughs> you're not prepared. No, anyway. I'm just going on top of my head. Oh, okay. All right, so don't look at my book. So the first thing um, that I've learned during pregnancy, or things I wish I didn't knew before, is that my pee every single second. It's like a funnel, like a drink, and then see me head into the bathroom. And what I realized as well, the trick is not to drink too much in the night, but I'm thirsty. So, you know, you have to give and take, but peeing is, is increased. And I think the reason why is because as the baby gets bigger, it's pressing down on, what do you call that? What's that thing in your belly, in your body? It press against your organs. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we all have it. Well, you in you, your bladder, bladder. your bladder. Oh, oh my god, oh, what are you here for? I didn't know what you were talking about. Bladder, so you, the baby pressing against your bladder, mm -hmm. so it's it's making um, the I guess I'm the increase, it's increasing the amount of time I'm going to the bathroom. So, peeing increase, yeah. Should I continue or are you jumping in with your own? I have to constantly, but before pregnancy I have to be I love how to call it as people help to listen to that. But now it's more. You know, I have to be constantly helping out people that I can help out with at the time. Oh, so you learned that now, your increased health. Huh? Increased health. Okay. Alright, so for me the next thing that I've learned is my sleeping habits change, right? Normally I could have go to my bed later. <clears throat> I would have go to my bed like 
12 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Now, well, since I'm pregnant, I've been going earlier, like even 7, 8, right? Um, and then now in the, in the yin yin bag, and then now in, in the time like about 1 o'clock, 2, sometimes 3 depending, I am awake and I can't go back to sleep. So weird sleeping habits or my routine, weird sleeping routine. So that's, that's what I've learned so far. Nobody did tell me. People could have told me, yeah, but they didn't. Get something to find out. But yeah, that's, that's what I've learned so far. What I, what I have learned is to ensure that food is here. So that when she gets hungry, she doesn't have to wait too long to get food. Mm-hmm. Or so, even, or even if there's no food here, and you need to say that she's hungry, try my best to go and get food same time, so that she doesn't have to wait too long to eat. You know, sometimes when that happens and she do get the food after waiting, you know, it leads to her showing up. So, I don't like that. Yeah, so, I'm going to get her something to eat. Now when you choose the food in it, where you just buy it? What are you talking about? You have to go buy one of this food. Or uh, something else. You have to spend money again. Or uh, you have to go... The, the food where you cook, where you say, say alright, this probably can last. No, she get this no, and she probably get this later than this tomorrow. You cut shot. So, my right daughter, she get it early, so she don't have to throw. Alright, next thing is not being able to do what not being able to do what I used to do. So normally I don't wait on Romaine. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Normally I'm a lone ranger. I just get up, do what I'm doing. Especially with blue stuff, I would just go, 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 go. Or um, like if I wanna go somewhere, you know? Mm -hmm. I just get myself ready and I'm gone. Now, now I have to probably wait for him to follow me because girls been moving slow and then sometimes on the road I don't feel good so it's good to have somebody with you on the road um yes I have to now be more dependent on him which is something that I wasn't really used to I mean we're married for five five years but you know it's it, 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 it helped me to kind of be more reliant upon Romaine, so yeah, I've learned that. All right, the next thing is I'm easily, I easily get tired. So I walk from the bathroom to the kitchen. Maybe that's just exaggerating, but I realized that the pregnancy increase, like right now, because my belly is getting bigger, it's, yeah, I'm, my belly is getting bigger, so I'm getting, I'm easy, it's easier for me now to um, get tired, easy for me, my feet hurt more now, stuff like that. So I realized that, and, and, and also what I've realized is the, the whole feeling lazy thing come with the pregnancy, that I just don't want to do anything, the earlier part of the pregnancy, and that's, I did stop my pregnancy skincare routine I did the bare minimum bathe wash face brush teeth go back and lie down and it was just really hard because at that time I was feeling really sick um, my belly was hurting me a lot um, and I just don't want to do anything I was lying in the bed for most of the time Romain leave me in the bed and come back home in the bed and I'm working from the bed so yeah, I've, I've, we've experienced that. Yeah. Oh, what I realized as well that the doctors say that is that the reason why I've been experiencing um, pain in my belly mm -hmm. um, or in my pelvis area, I guess, um, early on up when I asked was because the, the our bodies, female bodies, especially, especially for first time mom, we're going to be first time parents, it's our first child is that the, my body is um, changing, it's expanding. Like, so the pelvis is expanding so that it can accommodate the baby for pushing. Now, I'm not gonna be pushing. I'm going to be doing a C-section. 
unfortunately it is what it is um yeah so that's the reason why my but my pelvis area was hurt, hurting um early on up was because um my pelvis was getting wider so that it could accommodate for the pushing for the baby and not just the pushing for the growth of the baby for it to accommodate the baby to be in there and growing healthy and all of that so yeah um also guys if you have not all not ideas but if you if you've been pregnant before and you've experienced some of these things or you know any little stuff like that you can leave the comment yes down below um you can give us advice as well we're first time parents so you can definitely leave them down below don't forget to subscribe if you're gone this far in the video please subscribe to help your girl grow and uh, like this video and share it all right what I have, what is, what other stuff that I have learned is that um, you have to give a massage. <laughs> How about every day? You know, you know these even, men that go through nothing. You might come and talk about give a massage. Even when you're tired, you know, you have to give a massage. I understand that because what she's going through, I don't know, but. She, I can see the difference on her body or her, on her foot, especially when she has back pains. I don't really give her much massage with the back pain, but yeah. Last night was good though. He did a warm cloth. He did research. Isn't he cool? So he did some research about pregnancy. What was the research about? Do you want to tell the people? Um, so I have learned. So um, the research that I did was how to relieve back pain for pregnant women. You know, and it um, showed me that it, it gave me five different rem remedies. Well, not five, ten different remedies I can use. And I tried the um, the hot and cold massage, which I I get a warm towel and yeah, warm towel, and I rubbed it over the, um, on her lower back. You know, and it helped with it helped with the pain. I. Never heard she said she was feeling that much pain after, you know, and you look out and she fell asleep. So, yeah. Hey, two points for you. <laughs> and he also did it for the foot, too. So. Yeah. The foot one was really nice. Yeah. So I just, I just, I just um, put, it, put her, her foot together and I put it over. Her, her feet, sorry. And <laughs> let it stay for about for, um, 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, let the blood flow through. Therapist. Uh, anyway. Yeah, that, that was really nice. You can do that again tonight. Thank you. Alright, um, what I also learned heartburn. It's like a clothes. It's like. You, you ever experienced heartburn before? Yeah, one time. I'm not in the next. Heartburn, oh my god, I thought the heavens were gonna open up and just take me up. Oh. Tums don't work. Um, and yeah, it, it doesn't work. But I remember my friend Melissa, when Melissa was pregnant, she told me that Tums don't really work for her. And she had something else. I don't know what she was taking, but she had something else. Um, but yeah, I'm not a medicine person, so now the grace I got came true. Really, I fight the fight, the fight the good fight with these things because I'm not a medicine person and I just really do like even just even vitamins. I have to set an alarm 12 o'clock every day to take my vitamins because I'm forgetting. So, if I don't set the alarm, I'm not going to remember to take the vitamin, right? Yeah, the so heartburn was was a beast it's a beast um i hope i don't get any for the remainder of this pregnancy i'm not looking forward to that um the bad tasting i had a lot of bad tasting in my mouth so in the earlier sorry in the earlier part we well, had to be balls of mint you were mint ball at the side table we may have to be running for mint ball <laughs> Yes, men, we do Still. more when your wife 
Or in the Navy, it's very dumb. You know, no, you never did know before. I never knew that before. You didn't even never know a thing. So stop telling stop to life on the internet. I'm not telling lie, I said yes, man, we, we have to do more. Oh, you say you said, have to do more? I thought you said we know. No, I never said we know. I don't know. Oh, know. oh, never hear. Sorry. Apologies. Yes. So um a lot of mint minty stuff, mint ball, ginger was good. Ginger was good for like the, the, the stomach. Yeah. Right. But the bad taste, you know, I had to like even water it after like the aftertaste. So like I eat something and an aftertaste, terrible. Yeah. Mouth just the taste. It was just so awful. It's better now, and I didn't realize that it be gone. But it's better now. So that was terrible. That was a thing that I learned. So the other things for me were like food stuff. So um, I'm hungry, so I'll be hungry. Then I can eat a cow. Then Ramin gets me food. And then two bites. And I'm full. And I'm like, but I I was just starving a while ago. And then two hours later, just hungry again. Yes, two hours later, I'm hungry again. You have worm. <laughs> Anyways, um, another thing was which I'm learning now is when to know when I'm full while while I'm eating. So I will be eating the food tastes good. I'm gonna enjoy myself and I'm gonna say, all right, my girl, take this last bite. And then we take the last bite. I'm like, oh, my belly is bursting, rubbing. I shouldn't have ate that last bite. And sometimes I end up puking, vomiting a little bit up. Or I just lay there in discomfort, crying from my stomach. So yeah, those are a couple of stuff that I've learned. Is there anything else you have you've learned? No? Um, we are so excited though to, to meet our baby. Um, the next video coming up is going to be what's in our hospital bag, my hospital bag, but Robin wants to be a part of it, he's excited. So I think I'm gonna have him back on the video on my channel um, so that we can talk about those things that are in our hospital bag. As well as the baby nook. The baby nook is going to be behind us. We're going to have the baby nook here. Um, and he and his mom and I guess other persons I don't know will help with that that transformation as well. So we're gonna take you along with us for that, as well as just life in general. Yeah. You have anything else to say, hubby? That's it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, advice, thoughts, please leave them down below. We'd love to sit and read them. We want to hear what you have to say. Um, and you never know, it could help us, give us insights, you know, what to expect coming up, stuff like that. We would truly appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>